hello guys uh welcome back once again to this youtube channel you know before the 2023 presidential election a lot of people who claim to be activists in this country you know have been trying to control the narrative what i mean by controlling the nar narrative is because uh the, what they do is that they go behind our back they will go and negotiate with these our dirty politicians our dirty politicians they will come out to the public and start preaching as if they are sense rather they will gather people to vote for a certain politician and we saw people like deji adeni jeruno mokri and then Baola. these are the set of uh, human uh, these are a set of activists that are in fact, they are not even activists, they are cash activists, and they think that we cannot actually uh, know their true identity. You know, P2B's emergence in 2023 uh, election, uh, ahead of 2023 election, it actually exposed this set of people because every election year, people like Deji and others will go and, you know, uh, 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 you know, corner one for politician and start supporting him or probably collect money and go from them. And they will come out to claim that they are activists. Meanwhile, they are not activists. They are not activists, rather, these are people that are looking for political opportunities to cash out money and to, you know, uh, 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 stop money from the gullible politicians. But P2B came and said, we are not giving shishi. And he, P2B got what we call an organic support, whereby he did not induce anybody with money or with any form of a, 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 a thing for them to support him. He said, look out for someone that has competence, character and co co compassion. His words and his economic policies and the things he said and his campaign policies and everything manifest to convince people to start supporting him. To the extent that people use their own personal money and have earned money to you know, organize a lot of things in favor of Mr. Pitobi. And since then, these activists like Deji, Lono Mokri, Daniel Baola, and most of them have not really rested. That is why today they are saying that Pitobi should be in jail. That people be had no plans for Nigeria. I'm going to show you what these uh, so called activists and cash TVs I call them cash TVs because the after money, since people be deprived them of that, uh, 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 um, that annual or uh, money, normal money they get during a uh, election period in the country, they are pinned and they are so angry with people because that money will not come again. You know, people be made the 23 presidential election to be you know, all about uh, 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 interest. He doesn't. He, he didn't make it look at more of money, or probably you must use money to convince people. No, it's more of in, in intellectual interest. If you know that this person convinced you intellectually or with his manifesto, you vote for the person. Unlike before, that this cash is who you know try to induce this politician to release money for them, so that they can they can go and you know organize people for them to vote for them because they believe they have a, a loud audience. And look at what happened. This is what happened. Uh, 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 Daniel Baula, let me start with Daniel Baula, who claimed to be an activist, you know, uh, and immediately he, uh, I took a back, I appointed this man, named Daniel Baula, without knowing that this man is, is snake in the, in, in the green grass, without knowing that this man cannot be trusted, without knowing that this man is like a chameleon and he doesn't stay in one place. Immediately, Atiku Abubakar, this is a spokesman for Atiku Abubakar and the, for the People's Democratic Party. Immediately, Atiku Abubakar lost the presidential election, and it wasn't even up to how many months after the Supreme Court gave the rascal judgment they gave. Daniel Baola, who vowed that he would never support Balame Stini, who vowed, as a matter of fact, that anybody that supports APC, you know, uh, has a, 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 a malfunctioning brain and all that. At the end of the day, it wasn't up to how many days that the Supreme Court gave judgment. Daniel Baola switched camp and, you know, denounced Atiku and started supporting Balame Stini. A man who said that Stini, even if he gives Stini, Years that we cannot fix Nigeria, even if uh, you, that Tinubu does not have the required or the, the, the prerequisite or requirements to you know next uh, turn Nigeria around now, he has entered Tinubu's camp and APC because of what stomach infrastructure, because of what hunger, because of what hunger. Now, look at what he said. He said, A top, uh, this is what uh, Daniel Baola said. They said, A top, as you can see on the screen, they said, A top politician Daniel Baola has said that the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in last year's election, P2B, has no single plan for the country. This was as he wondered what the former governor of the state would have done differently if elected as president. You know, this has been their question and the excuse they are giving for Balame Tenebu that since the economy is bad, that what would P2B do diff differently? You know, they don't... They, they have accepted that that Tinibu, you know, has nothing to offer. Now, what they are trying to do is to say that P2B could have still ended up like Tinibu, which is a lie. This is just a way of trying to calm down the tension. They said Daniel Baula said this whole, this whole tackling. Then Baula said that this whole tackling of obedience supporters fondly called obedience. He wrote on X being Twitter that for those people that call themselves obedience, apart from causes and insults, do you have any clear idea about what P2B would have done differently had it been he was elected? Because Obi himself has not advanced a single plan. No wonder Reno Mokri and Deja Deneja chased you out of their handle space. Like I said, he has called his follow so called uh, uh, cash TV list. You know, these people that always collect money from politicians during election period to, you know, uh, uh, deceive gullible Nigerians. But because P2B came and said no, and they're angry, he has listened to Reno Mokri and Deji Adenuja. I'm going to show you even what Deni, uh, uh, Deji Adenuja uh, said about Pito, that Pito should be in prison for, for, he did not even mention any crime against that man. Well, in another post, he said that P2B wants to govern Nigeria using catchphrases and buzzwords, consumption to production, China, Malaysia, Egypt, etc. 
what the f does he know about governance pretending he cares for the masses go and ask how much he pays his staff in all his companies and come back and explain to me the three million of modern slavery you know it is quite funny because apc has started paying him and bankrolling this particular and being daniel baola he's trying to bring down pista people be saying that how much does people be paying his staff meanwhile p2b is an employment uh, employer of labor he has a lot of people that he has employed and empowering till today and he has been donating daniel baola has not even donated a dime to anybody rather he's looking for his stomach infrastructure that is why he switched down to apc and look at what demi at Ad deji adeni adeni ju said he said tinibu and p2b and atuka abaka should be in jail you know this particular man he just used tinibu added tinibu article in this in this particular statement just to, to find a way to neutralize it he knows his intention of making this statement because he is only trying to you know attack mr p2b but he knows how he's gonna sound if he, he doesn't put a uh, tinibu and article there so he decided to uh, put them there look at what he said he said a frontline human rights activist you can see how they address addressing him human rights activist why me why this man is only fighting for his own rights that is why he's accusing people to be to be removed food from their table this cash is in this last election and they're angry he said a frontline human rights activist deji and the Andrew, has said for example i'm a tenable people democratic party president and even article back and his level up level party counterpart p to be should be in prison and then he said tenable and other presidential candidates failed nigerians hence the sufferings in the country Addressing the protest in the Abuja, the constitutional lawyer decried Naira degeneration as against other Western African countries. According to Adenian Adenian Jew, he said, uh, "We have won Nigeria severely, but it seems they have have a covenant with oppress, oppression and suffering." I can't imagine a situation where people had several credible alternatives during the last election, but Nigeria said they wanted to swim and die with corruption. Now he's talking about his friend being so worried. He wanted Nigeria to vote a, for a man who has not even led. A, a, a community before us who has not even occupied any political office at least let us start from there to know if he can do anything but he wants us to elect a man who, 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 who only goes on protest and all that you know let him start from somewhere and acquire some knowledge uh, he, if uh, uh, did you want for that to say that look at the labor party people are jumping all over the place for that for that they are to save you look at the kind of worms we are witnessing they can't even account for their campaign funds remember uh p2b has actually in the camp uh, today reviewed how much uh, uh they made in the campaign and how much he even donated he donated more than half of what they use and equally said that he's employing a, a foreign uh, auditor to come and audit and bring in public the uh expenses and the income they got during the uh, presidential camp uh, campaign you can see transparency in what p2b is saying but you can see these so-called so -called activists or cash is trying to bring them p2b you know, trying to say things that are irrelevant, saying P2B and Bezod Moria. Oh, yeah. This and tell us when P2B and Bezod Moria. The man has said, if you can come out concrete, with concrete evidence that he's eight people's money and Bezod Moria, that he's going to end his presidential ambition or political ambition. But none of them have actually said anything. Rather, they are trying to, you know, uh, uh, bring him down because these people are cashivists. 